So, uh, what I want, one thing I want to start doing is uh, crank cam correlations. I know for those people who don't have uh, good known waveforms, uh, I'm a, if I have the time to do it, then I'll probably, for my thought process is I want to consciously make an effort to put go, known good waveforms for uh, just some random vehicles. But um, the car that I, that I was working on earlier was doing the regular maintenance, break with a regular maintenance and has some uh, AC issues uh, the video I'm just recently posted but um this car I'm gonna start off doing uh, with this new playlist with the uh, current cam correlations uh, so hopefully I'm gonna get better with doing these as time progresses um, I got all four channels hooked up here it goes the uh, let me get this to focus. All right. The blue and the green is going to be the cams. The red is going to be the crank. The purple is is the D channel is going to be the uh, firing event for the number one cylinder. I'll zoom in shortly. But uh, if you're looking to where to hook them up, um, I honestly didn't look at the wiring schematics. I mean, I'm just going off a of general how the general sensors are are wired for the uh, for the hall sensors but um, I'm on the far end left here and the same on the other side with the same hookup if you're looking at the connector same way it's gonna be the far left um, the bottom down here on the crank sensor oh boy. I'm hooked up on the uh, right there let me see if I can get in a little better it's like uh, it's a little dark in here So yeah, I'm hooked up right there on the far left also. So I guess looking at the connector, all the uh, trigger points are going to wind up being on the far left. So those are going to be the signals. Uh, I'm going to, let me see if I can put this light on right here. I'm going to pause it and I'm going to uh, zoom in. So whoever want to look at a good known waveform for a... Um, 2003 K series. This will be it. There's no check in the lights or anything for this. So uh, let me see if I let me let me get let me get this car off. Let me get it zoomed in. Okay. All right. So let me see if I can zoom in on this. So channel B is going to be my exhaust cam. The green one. The blue one is going to be the intake cam. So just make note of that. Here's the star of the firing event right here, the purple. And um, let's see if I can. I want to see if I can get the whole thing on the screen here. I haven't quite figured out how to. See if I can back that up. Yeah. There's the star of the firing sequence again. So, but yeah, so there's your 360 degrees right there of uh, cam and crank. All right, other than that, um, I'm pretty sure if you got scopes, you know how to do this, but this was my whole purpose just to show the cam crank. I mean, you got it in there, you can, you know. Do what the hell you want to do with it. So, other than that, um, like I said, I'll, I'm gonna try to make more videos with uh, cam crank correlation, just random ones, and hopefully this will be a start of something successful. Uh, we'll see how the likes start generating and subscriptions. But other than that, um, this is it, man. I'm hopefully I get a lot more interesting stuff. But being as a common motor very common motor uh, I'm pretty sure the cam gears could be different depending on the uh, engine code but alright I'm going peace and high grease